All right, I've got two more uh, new features for Profi OS 6 that I want to give a sneak peek on. Um, so with Profi OS 5, we introduced all the different gestures. So you have your swing on, we added a uh, twist off, we have the thrust on. We also added, um, uh, well, stab on, uh, stab on, it's kind of like a thrust on, but it's a hard pull, um, uh, as well as the force push. So if you have your saber here. So all these different gestures are available, um, and particularly the gesture additions are really great, except every once in a while, you know, you might have your saber turned on, you might have the kill key pulled, you might have the power active, um, but you don't necessarily want it to ignite. So one of the things you have, you know, with gesture ignitions is anytime that movement happens, the blade's going to ignite, and that can be something that you don't necessarily want to have happen. Um, so now I've added, for OS 6, I'm adding gesture sleep, which is a new function that will allow you to put all the gesture ignitions to sleep. Um, and you can reactivate them anytime you want. So uh, the buttons may change just because of all everything that's in development. But for now, I have it. So while your saber is off, if you hold the power button and twist, gestures off. it says gestures off. And now my saber's still powered on, but all of the gestures have been turned off for ignition. Um, and then anytime you want, I mean, you can still use your power button. It's just it turns the gestures off. But if I wanted to reactivate the gestures, you'll just go in and you'll hold the power button again and twist. Gestures active. And now my gestures are active again. So with gesture sleep, you're going to be able to turn those gestures on and off whenever you want. That way you can keep your saber powered up, but you don't have to worry about false ignitions or anything. Um, if you're just carrying it on your hip, if you're just kind of playing around with it, um, etc. So it's, it's just a new added feature. Um, just to make the gestures a little bit more um, you know, user-friendly and not have your saber going off at, at odd times. Um, but in addition, I've also added the uh, new feature to edit mode related to gestures. So let's show that. So I'm going to go into edit mode. Edit mode, edit style. I'm putting the uh, speaker closer so you can hear. Edit color, edit font, edit track, edit volume. Edit blade length, edit gestures. So this is the new one. This is edit gestures. So I'm going to go into that. And now in edit gestures, you can edit which gestures are actually active. And you can disable them or, or enable them anytime you want. So you have swing ignition, the swing ignition, twist ignition, the twist ignition, thrust ignition, the thrust ignition, stab ignition, the stab ignition, force push, the force push. Twist retraction. And the twist retraction. And then it goes back swing to Swing ignition. So now swing ignition. So now the way this menu works is it actually knows what's active and what's not. So when you're at the one you want, when you press the power button, it's going to tell you if it's active or not. So enabled. So this one's actually enabled. So that means swing ignition is enabled. Now to enable anything, it's always going to be a turn right. To disable it, it's going to be a turn left. So I'm going to disable it by turning left. Disable. And then I'll save it. Save. Gesture menu. And now let's go turn twist ignition. We'll turn the twist ignition off. So I already know it's on, but we're going to go in. Enabled. So it's already enabled. So if I turn left, it's going to disable. Disable. And I can disable that. Save. Gesture menu. And now let's go out. Cancel. Main menu. Exit. And now I've disabled the swing ignition as well as the twist ignition, but I still have my thrust ignition active. Um, and I still have twist off. So now we can go in and we can again change it. So let's go back to edit mode. Edit mode, edit style, edit color, edit font, edit track, edit volume, edit blade length, edit gestures, sweep ignition. So now we'll go in. Disabled. And it said disabled because it's already disabled. So enable it, we're going to turn right. Enable. And then we're going to save. Save. Gesture menu. And now we'll go. Twist ignition. So twist ignition. Press power. Disabled. Tells me it's disabled, so I'll turn right. Enable. And that'll enable it and save. Save. Gesture menu. And now I'll exit out. Cancel. Main menu. Exit. And now I've got my swing ignition back. And I've also got my twist ignition back. So it just the idea with the edit gestures is, um, you know, you may not, you may want to have and try out all of the um, different gestures available, but some of them you may prefer, some of them may not. There may be times where you only want to have one active. Um, 
And rather than having to re-upload to the board every time, now you're going to be able to actually have them all at, on the board. You could technically disable them all, and then in the future, if you decide you want to enable them, go in and edit them. Um, you can have them all active, and then say you're giving you, you know, you're letting somebody else use your saber, and they're not used to it. You can deactivate it for them. Um, so you can turn, enable, and disable any of the gestures as often as you want. It gets saved to your saber, um, and then you can always undo it at any time. Um, and the nice thing is the menu will tell you what's active and what's not so that you know um, as you go into each one. And then combined with gesture sleep, you can activate all your gesture ignitions and then just put them to sleep with the gesture sleep so that you still have them all sitting there. You just have to re-enable them with the gesture sleep so that the two systems are separate from each other, but they do work together. Um, so it's still more testing and everything, but obviously all this stuff's working pretty well. Um, but it's to me it was a nice feature to be able to add to to be able to put the gestures to sleep but then secondly be able to pick and choose um, which gestures are active without having to kind you know constantly go back and upload um, and then also force pushes in there as a gesture so you can have force push force push tongue tied force push active if you want and then if there were times where you wanted to deactivate it you go into the edit mode for edit gestures and force push is an option you can also edit that so um, still more coming um, but um, I got this working pretty well. I was happy with it and I wanted to share. Um, so hope you enjoy.